What's going on, everybody? It's your boy C4 here, bringing another Mutt 16 Legends video. Oh my god, we're almost at 1 a.m. here, boys. I'm cutting it tight. Uh, really, gotta get these out before. I got some other videos I gotta get planned before, and Madden 16 is coming up so quick. Uh, so, as always, let's get 50 likes on this video. I'm putting a fuck ton of work. I'd appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel. We want 11,000 subs by the time Madden 16 comes out. Uh, so, basically, the premise for this video is if EA released the top five legends for each individual team, my opinion on who they should be uh, for Madden Ultimate Team. Today, we're looking at the Minnesota Vikings. Who have one, two, three? We're gonna go with three uh, cards already in circulation that we'll mention. Uh, so we'll jump right in. Number one, John Randall, probably one of my favorite. I pulled him. Uh, one of my favorite defensive linemen. All about the finesse move. Com incredibly under uh, underrated and undersized. Uh, Hall of Fame member, seven-time Pro Bowler with 137 career sacks. But I mean, the finesse move on this card. This card is just dripping in finesse moves. So. Uh, big fan of the John Randall carrot, and I believe it's already been announced that he will be in this game already, which is sick. Uh, going to number two, and that is Chris Carter. All he does is catch touchdowns and fucking leaves Philadelphia. Uh, Chris Carter, eight-time Pro Bowler, Hall of Famer, 13,000 career receiving yards with 130 career receiving touchdowns. Uh, personally, like I said, he left Philly. Uh, was kind of a bust, and then it kind of sucks that he started to do good in Minnesota. Uh, but it is what it is. One of the best wide receivers statistically in history. So there you go. Uh, number three is one of my favorite wide receivers, even though he can be a little bit arrogant at times, or was a little bit arrogant at times, but I've always considered... He's always one of my favorite wide receivers in Madden alone, and that's going to be Randy Moss. Uh, Six-time Pro Bowler, 9,000 career receiving yards with 92 uh, receiving touchdowns as a Viking. Uh, I mean, he obviously has a couple monstrous years, a historic year actually, uh, with New England Patriots. 23 receiving touchdowns, I believe. Uh, but, I mean, Randy Moss forever will be a Minnesota Viking. Uh, yeah, him and him and Dante Culpepper. And maybe some foreshadowing here. But, yeah, Randy Moss, Chris Carter. You got some solid wideouts there, Minnesota Viking fans. Uh, going to number four, we're going with regarded as the best quarterback in the history of the Minnesota Vikings. That is Fran Tarkenton. Tarkenton? Sure. Nine-time Pro Bowler, one-time NFL MVP, Hall of Famer, uh, 47,000 career passing yards with 342 career passing touchdowns. Uh, was regarded as, you know, he was actually a pretty mobile quarterback uh, for what I can tell. I did a little bit of research. I've seen a little bit of his stuff on the NFL Network. Uh, but, I, yeah, I actually believe he was regarded as, like, the mobile quarterback of that era. But, I mean, pretty B stats there. Uh, pretty underrated, I would say, in regards to just general football knowledge. Not a lot of people would bring his name up when talking about the legends of the game. Uh, but those stats, and he has all the stats and stuff to back it up. And going with number five, we're going with another quarterback, the best Minnesota Vikings quarterback since I've watched, been watching football, and that's going to be Dante Culpepper. Uh, I'd say this would be a 2004 throwback edition. Uh, but with his career, he has 24,000 passing yards and 149 total touchdowns. But in 2004, he had 4,700 yards and 39 passing touchdowns. He went off, I believe, Chris Carter and Randy Moss were his two uh, receiving, re uh, receiving threats. I can't think of anyone else off the top of my head. 04, that was... 04 was the first year I really started getting into football, so I mean, it was just in my infancy as a football fan, but I remember Culpepper was an absolute beast. So those are my top five Vikings. As always, guys, subscribe to the channel, smash that like button, leave a comment if you're a Vikings fan, or uh, leave a comment for if I missed any Viking legends you'd want to see. Uh, until next time, though, it's your boy C4, saying peace out.